You know the best games. You've heard about the VIP update, and you've mastered the hyper bonus. Now it's time to get the free room you deserve. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey guys, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Now for today's video, let's focus on increasing your VIP points. If you don't already know, Winslots has introduced a new feature in the game called Winslots VIP Level. Now, what this does for you, based on your VIP level, is it lets you redeem higher quality rewards from Winslots, primarily free rooms, and eventually buffets. Maybe. One of the most common questions I've been asked on this channel right now is, can I get to VIP level 2 without spending any money in game? And the answer to that question is... Yes. Okay, okay, it's not as simple as yes or no, but it is quite possible. If you've already made a decision on whether you're going to spend money or time on one slots, then I'll let you skip ahead to the main guide of the time code here on the screen. But if you're still on the fence about using win slots for free rooms, it's important to consider this first, which is more valuable to you time or money. Because you see, playing win slots gives you the opportunity to get comp rooms based on your skill and luck in the game, but your VIP level depends on your level of investment in the game itself. Unlike My Vegas, a game that genuinely doesn't care if you play for hours or minutes a day, win slots wants an investment in exchange for a room, and that investment is either playing longer to earn VIP points, or paying to get those VIP points. So depending on how much time you have and how much money you have, that's how you'll make your decision as to whether to stick with the free to play route to get free rooms or if you advance to the pay to win route. So depending on how much time you have, it may be wise to invest a few bucks to trim down the time investment in your VIP earnings. And if nothing else, you can get your win rooms really cheap anyway. Or if you have plenty of time or very good at time management, free to play might be feasible. Let's discuss how you earn VIPs. There are exactly five ways to get VIP points. The first is with your gold chest. This is a standard way to collect chips. It's free and recurs every three hours. The second way is with your bonus wheel. This is another free method that grants you VIP points as well as a chip bounty. This reoccurs every 12 hours. The third way is a gold scratcher event. Gold scratcher events pop up periodically throughout the day for about two or three hours or so. And in addition to getting chips for every challenge you complete, upon completing all challenges, you get VIP points. The fourth way is the platinum scratcher event. These events are typically once daily and are worth even more chips and VIP points. And finally, the fifth way is making a purchase in game. Every penny you spend is worth one VIP point. This can be done at any point in the game, and VIP points are awarded for the purchase of multipliers, piggy banks, and chip packages. So now that you know more about VIP points, let's get to the meat of the video. Can I get free rooms and win slots without spending any money? And by using the ultimate weapon, math, we've determined exactly how many VIP points you'll need to achieve that. Assuming you start from level zero, you'll have 90 days to get 2,500 VIP points, meaning you'll need to earn a minimum of 28 VIP points a day. Each gold chest is worth three VIPs, bonus wheels are worth 10 VIPs, gold events are worth six, and platinum events are worth 20. So with some light collecting, you can achieve level one with no effort within 90 days. From there, once you've attained level 1, you'll have 90 days to gain 2,500 more points to maintain that level. Meaning once again, you'll need a minimum of 28 points a day. But the nice thing is that events and collections at level 1 are worth a fair amount more than they are at level 0. Also, once you make the level 1 maintain VIP amount, you'll get an additional 90 days to advance to level 2. Meaning you have up to 90 days to get 2,500 VIP points and then you get another 90 days to get 7,500 more VIP points to advance to level two. Once you've hit the maintain level, it only takes 84 points a day to reach level two in 90 days. But here's the question, is this reasonable? Well, I actually mapped out a day of win slots to see how many points I got on an average day playing like I normally do. My day starts a little before seven in the morning. I check a few YouTube comments and then send a few messages and collect my win slots bonuses. The gold chest and bonus wheel net me a sum total of 20 VIPs for about 2 minutes worth of effort. Next I start my first scratcher. It's a dragon's tail. I have 3 hours to collect 50 dragon orbs, do 500 spins, 
collect 50 million chips and then another 150 million coins or so after that. I set the game to 500 auto spins on dragon power and leave it on the charger while I get dressed. Then, after I've gotten my spins and orbs, I play a few rounds of Hongbao Hyper Bonus at 60 million chips buy-in. It's a total of 10 minutes of active effort with 9 more VIPs to show for it. About 2 hours later, it's time to collect another gold chest, 5 more easy VIP points after about a minute's worth of attention. I check back in half an hour to do the next scratcher quest another gold event called Lion Safari. This time I'm looking for free games, big chip totals, and 500 more spins. I run another 10 minutes of Hongbao Hyper Bonus to get the big coin collections and then set it to auto spin and Gypsy Riches for the free games. Also before I forget, Gypsy Riches is another amazing game recommended by a subscriber to get lots of free games and makes the free game scratcher easy to get. After those, I took another minute to switch to Joker's Wheel to spin down the rest of my 500 spins. This results in another 9 VIPs and about 15 more minutes of screen time. I'm just now going to lunch, a 1 o'clock one, so I'm kind of late there. I have just a minute to collect my third gold chest for the day before heading to the deli. The platinum event has started. Between getting the special coins, over 250 million chips, and making sure to spin a thousand times, I've spent about half an hour actively, maybe an hour passively working on this. I'll round it to the full hour of active screen time. Also, during the 6 hour time frame, I've been able to collect my 4th and 5th gold chests, meaning I've gotten 10 10 VIPs from bonuses, and 25 from gameplay in about an hour's worth of attention. Also about 7 that night, after I finished the scratcher, I grabbed the 12 hour bonus wheel for an easy 15 VIPs. I technically grabbed this with my gold chest bonus, but I wanted to make sure that the wheel was distinctive in this review. I start to finalize my day around 9.30. At this point, I dive straight into the Clone the Mammoth event for another 9 VIPs. I leverage the quick spins from Joker's Wheel and the big win power from Hongbao Hyper Bonus to wrap it all up with only 10 minutes of active play and 20 minutes of ignoring my phone. By the time my scratcher was done, I could collect my 6th and final gold chest for the day, leaving me at a total of 106 VIPs in 105 minutes played. Even if we factor in the downtime, I've probably only played about 4 hours passively and my active use on my phone still seems to only show about 29 minutes of play. So, according to my math, 106 VIPs over the course of 90 days means we can earn 9,540 VIPs. So if we add that to the 2,500 VIPs we've earned to maintain level 1 in the first place, that means it'll take 71 days to achieve level 2 status after maintaining level 1. And based on level 1 VIP rates using this strategy, it only takes 24 days to maintain level 1. So ultimately, it'll take you 95 days to achieve level 2 status without spending a dime. Just a little more than half the allotted time you're given. But wait, there's more math. Using this strategy at level 0 to achieve level 1 will take you 33 days. Not much considering that you have 90 days to get there. But when you add that to the 95 days it takes to reach level 2, you'll be playing for this for over 128 days straight if you expect to be at level 2 without spending any money at all in win slots. Hey guys, it's Ace. Uh, sorry to interrupt the video over here. Wanted to go ahead and let you guys know I made a little math mistake. I think I just made a typo um, when I was typing this up on the computer over here and I added it to the script and hadn't realized I made the mistake. It's Actually, so the level zero calculation was indeed correct, but the level one calculation was off for a little while. So while it is going to take about 33 days to get from level zero to level one, it's only going to take 22 days to get from level one achievement to level one maintenance at uh, 2,500 points because you get 112 points a day doing the method I showed you. And then after that, it takes another 88 points to get there. So some total to get from level zero to level two, it's going to take you about 121 days and some change. So let's just go ahead and call it 122 days. So I was off by the measure of a week. I apologize for that. That was just, I don't even know what I did. I'd recheck the math and I'm like, hang on a second, I'm better at math than this, and that just turns out to be what it was. So I must have made a mistake when I was copy and pasting everything over to the script from the uh, from the Google Docs and my notes and all that. So real sorry about that. Let me go ahead and get on with the, with the video, though. It really doesn't change the final answer at all. The fact of the matter is you can still achieve the whole uh, level two thing with out having to spend any money but let's go ahead and get back into it the final answer can you achieve win slots vip level two and get free rooms for free yes the best part about this strategy that i've presented is that it scales linearly 
and can be used to achieve level 4 and 5 status over time without spending a cent on wind slots, chips, or multipliers. A few more things to consider. Unfortunately, I have one hell of a bankroll. If you don't have a good bankroll, it will be more difficult to complete the scratchers that provide you approximately half your VIPs, so you may find your progress to be a bit slower as a new player. It may even take a few attempts, but if you're dedicated to the free-to-play route, then I'm certain you're in for a good time. Now, being a gamer myself, this amount of time collecting and playing isn't exactly out of the ordinary. I've spent hundreds of hours playing Pokemon and Super Smash Bros. and their various sequels over time, so putting in two hours of active play on a cell phone game daily really isn't a big deal to me. But if you can't afford to put in the extra time like that, I might consider putting in the extra money and spending with different strategies like the ones I mentioned in my other strategy videos. Well, that about wraps it up for today's video. If you enjoyed this episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to hear from me again. So now that you all know this, will you brave the free to play route or just pay to win? Either way, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands and of course, happy spinning.